Hey, what's going on guys? Welcome back to the channel. I uh, hope you guys are having a good morning. In today's video, I wanna go over a lot of the shortcut keys that I use to sort of speed up the application building process for iOS applications, as well as making these YouTube video tutorials. So I have a list of the most important shortcut keys that I use to make coding as efficient as possible. I'm gonna share that with you right now. So turning our attention to Xcode right here, this project is loaded up called Instagram Demo. And basically this is the course that I've been working on to kind of rebuild uh, the Instagram application. And the first shortcut key that I wanna show you, which is pretty simple and you guys are mostly aware of already, is to hit Command R. This is going to build your project and also run it at the same time inside of the simulator. Um, and once that is done, it loads up the project that kind of looks like this right here. So nothing too fancy. The thing I like about Command R is that it also builds your project, which is the shortcut key of Command B, and it also runs it inside of the simulator, sort of accomplishing two things at once. All right, so let's say I want to kind of comment out a bunch of lines of code at the same time. What I will typically do is to just highlight all of the lines of code and hit command and forward slash, which will just comment out everything uh, just in one stroke. All right, so in order to uncomment it out, you just do the exact same thing of hitting command and forward slash on the highlighted lines of code, which will just uncomment out everything. All right, now let's say for whatever reason, uh, some of your lines of code have been kind of shifted right. For example, if I command uh, right bracket, it'll just shift the indentation of all of your lines of code. If you want to shift it back, you can hit command bracket left like that, the left bracket, and it'll kind of shift it back to whatever uh, indentation space you want it to be in. All right, so something else that I also do is if all of my lines are kind of uh, formatted in some kind of ugly way like this, I'll just highlight everything and hit command and paste, and usually Xcode will handle the spacing for you and make it uh, as clean as can be. All right, so that's kind of the uh, <clears throat> file editing shortcut keys. One thing that I will use inside of my uh, Xcode editor is to jump around from file to file. So let's say I'm inside of this file called <clears throat> user profile controller. And if I want to jump quickly to app delegate, I'll just hit command shift O. And that will bring up this open quickly dialog right here. So I hit app delegate like that. It brings me to app delegate dot slith. And let's say I want to go back to user profile controller. I can just hit UPC. It kind of brings up something that is close to what I want. And I see user profile controller right here, which does that. And you can also hit you know a delegate, which brings you up app delegate. So that's how I jump from file to file. Now, the other thing that's really useful inside of Xcode, I find, is this little toggle right here that brings up all of the functions and variable declarations inside of your file. And if I want to bring this guy up quickly, all you have to do is hit Control-6 right here, which is a very, very strange shortcut key. Control-6 brings this guy up here. And if you just start typing, perhaps, view did load like that, it'll just uh, take you directly to view did load right here. So for example, if I'm down here, I can hit view did load, which does that brings me directly to that method call. All right, so another shortcut key I wanna talk about is how to kind of go from one tab to another on the left panel right here. So if I want to go to the search guy, I'll hit command three, which brings me there. Command four brings me to the warning and error tab. And command one brings me back to the project navigator. And let's say I want to search for something globally in my project. I'll hit Command Shift F, brings me there, and I can start typing perhaps, you know, app delegate like that. And then it searches the workspace, uh, ignoring the kind of case for that search query. So that brings me, uh, brings me to app delegate right there. And those are some of the shortcuts that I use to kind of jump around from file to file. Um, and let's say right now I want to perhaps type in a bunch of code here, perhaps let's see, let text equals one like that, or maybe something that represents a string. Let's say I want to build a project, but I want to stop the kind of compile process as well. So I hit uh, run and then I hit command period. So command period 
will sort of stop the compilation process. And sometimes that's helpful because you don't exactly want to relaunch that project into the simulator. I find that kind of useful. So one other thing I kind of want to talk about here is the simulator as well. So let's say I want to launch the app right here. So one thing that I do use a lot is the command one, two, and three. And you can actually use command four and five as well, which shrinks are uh, similar to, uh, you know, really, really small sizes. I just, I normally work with command three, which is this size right here. And if you want to uh, perhaps spin your trap or rotate your similar to landscape left and landscape right, you can kind of do that. And that's what your application looks like. So that's a neat trick. Now let's say I want to uh, bring up the physical keyboard of my application here. So let me see this guy. And let's say I have all these comments here, right? And if I click here, the keyboard typically doesn't show up. So if you hit Command K, it'll bring it up and kind of toggle its visibility for you inside of the simulator. All right. So one other little tip I want to kind of talk about, which is not something that you'll find in a lot of these shortcut key guides is the kind of way to edit uh, certain variables inside of your project. So let's say I have somewhere inside of a search controller here, right? All right, let me just go back. Let me just remove this line of code. Go back to user profile controller. And if I go all the way up to the class declaration and declare some kind of variable, perhaps, uh, let's, you know, CV, or perhaps, yeah, CV equals UI collection view like that. And for whatever reason, I have this variable declared like this. And let's say I start using it somewhere in here, background color equals dot red, CV dot, you know, always bounce vertical equals true. Uh, let's see, CV dot, you know, layout, or let's see what else is interesting here. You know, scroll uh, indicator insets equals something UI edge. I don't know, top uh, 10, 10, 10, 10, right? And now let's say I want to rename this CV variable to something else. I can hit Command uh, Control E, and then I'll do this right here. And <clears throat> let's say I want to rename it to something like My Collection View. Kind of does that for me. And uh, this is kind of like refactoring, but you have to worry or you have to be concerned about how it handles the refactoring because it doesn't exactly refactor things inside of other files. So definitely be careful about that. All right, so that's going to be it for today's video. Please let me know what kind of shortcut keys you guys use down in the comments below. If you're interested in the Instagram Firebase course in today's video, you can find a link to the preview of that course down in the description below. Keep on coding guys, and I'll see you in the next video. Bye-bye guys.